Any luck building the platform yet? Yes. I'm ready to build the rest of it. Good. Let's move on then. Here's a list of everything we'll need. Now, I know some of that might as well be in Greek, so I'll be around if you have any questions. Looks good, Ingram. I'll get to work right away. <laughs> I wish I had your confidence. Oh, one last thing before I forget. It's important that all the components are wired together so all the pieces are on a single grid. Otherwise, this isn't going to work. If you need any help, I'll be over at the build site making some adjustments and calculations. I'd wish you good luck, Knight, but I think we're both going to need it. Intruder on sale oh. target.
Remarkable work, Knight. The signal interceptor appears to be complete. Are you ready to put it to the test? Absolutely. I'm ready to go. Your confidence is an inspiration to us all. That being said, this is the first time we've attempted to directly adapt Institute technology. When we throw that switch, we don't know exactly what's going to happen. God willing, you'll end up inside the Institute, and the mission can continue. Nothing's going to stop me when I'm so close to the answers I'm looking for. Eager to get inside, huh? Good. Now, I want you to listen very carefully. Once you've entered the Institute, we expect to lose contact. So it's imperative you remember everything I'm about to tell you. Years ago, the Brotherhood began recruiting civilian scientists from the Capital Wasteland to assist with various projects. During this process, we were able to obtain the services of Dr. Madison Lee, a noted mind in the field of nuclear engineering. How did the Brotherhood meet Dr. Lee? She was part of a civilian project in the Capital Wasteland that the Brotherhood appropriated. It wasn't difficult. That said, Dr. Lee's contributions to our cause were instrumental in maintaining order in the Capital Wasteland. After some time, she developed differences with the Brotherhood and exiled herself to the Commonwealth. We're fairly certain that her intent was to make contact with the Institute. What sort of differences? Although she was working with the Brotherhood of Steel, she never formally joined as a scribe. After the Capital Wasteland was secured, she objected to the Brotherhood's continued military presence there. I think she assumed we would just walk away from it all. She was wrong. Your mission is simple. Once you're inside the Institute, we want you to track down Dr. Lee's whereabouts. If you find out that she's still alive, make contact with her. To return to the Brotherhood of Steel. There's a special project we're working on. And it needs her attention. What's this project that needs her attention? Dr. Lee previously worked on a potent weapon for the Brotherhood of Steel. We'd like her to continue where she left off. That's all I can tell you. Listen to me, Knight. I'm well aware that you're risking your life going into the Institute blind. Just And don't let anything they say sway you from your duty. Good luck. I've checked and rechecked everything. I think the signal interceptor's ready to go. Are you? Let's do this. All right. Head up onto the platform, and we'll see if I can find a signal to lock onto. Pull yourself together and get up onto that platform. Let's see. Relays dialed in. Beam emitters warmed up. Everything looks green. Let me start scanning for the signal. Cross your fingers. I'm inputting the code the now. Wow, there's a the heck of a lot of interference and ghosting. It's gonna take a minute or two to lock in. By the way, this little trip you're taking is a heck of an opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. I put a clever little program on this holotape that'll scan their network and download anything it finds. If you place it in any terminal down there, it'll do the rest. Bring it back to me and I'll see if I can make sense of whatever it found. You have your well, well, soldier. looks like we Move have out. a winner. RF wave capture complete. Ramping the emitter. 60%, 80%, emitter spiking but steady. All that's left is to throw the transmit switch. Transmitting in three, two, one. Stay safe, soldier.
I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. I can only imagine what you've heard, what you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This place, these people, the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things are unstable. I'd like to talk to you about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <sighs> Sean. Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? Sean, it's me. I'm... I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Those bastards, they took you from me. What's going on? Father? Father! Shh, shh, shh. it'll be okay, Sean. I'm here now. I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Sean, please! Down! I'll get you out of there! Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Father, help me! Sean. S923, recall code... Cirrus. Fascinating, but disappointing. Responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. Uh -huh. Please. Recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Me, Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time, it's me. I am Sean. I am... your son. How is that even possible? I know this is a lot to take in. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod, and went searching for the sun you'd lost. 
But then you learn that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute, and now its leader. I'm glad you're willing to accept the truth. It's quite... encouraging. At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being, walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this... wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, Protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. here the whole time I have yes I know you must have questions please anything I can do to help you understand your mother she never got to see you grow up yes what happened to her was I've gone over the records of the incident of course it seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with a loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation, and that was that. With old age comes regret, and asking what if more often. But what matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind so you're in charge of the Institute? I am the acting director, yes. I spent decades working to reach this point. It's a responsibility I take very seriously. The Institute. It's important. It really is humanity's best hope for the future. No matter what those above ground might think of us. scared of you, Sean. Scared of the Institute. People are always frightened by what they don't understand. Ultimately, the Commonwealth has nothing to fear from us. Whatever you've seen or heard, I know I can convince you of that. Just...
Give me time. What else can I say? To ease your mind. Kellogg. He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an institute asset long before I arrived here. Until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Technology prolonged his life and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you to have some amount of revenge. I know there's more for us to discuss, but the Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. After all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? I won't be a part of this. I can't. Why? Because of the reputation of the Institute. The Institute can provide a better life than any ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Your Institute has done some horrible things. <sighs> yes, well, the world is not what it used to be. What about the people you've aided in order to get here? What atrocities have they committed? The Brotherhood of Steel. They believe they're the only ones fit to control technology and destroy anyone who opposes them. And you would side with them. None have any true claim to nobility in this world. Those days are gone. But we are not the monsters we have been cast as. The Institute? Me? A chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interests at heart. Will you take that chance? All right. Thank you. The Institute is now your home as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the division heads. Dr. Fillmore in facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them, and then we'll discuss what comes next. Almost done. It's an honor to have you. I'm going to try, sir. That's the third time. When are you going to tell me about this mysterious place? She's been at it for over two hours. What is she even testing? Nothing. At this point, she's just doing it for fun. Dr. Lee. Oh, it's you. You're not authorized to be here. I wasn't aware that I needed authorization. <laughs> Father may have given you the keys to the castle, but this is still my laboratory. If you plan to stay down here with us, you need to learn how things work.
Easy. I just want to talk. About what? You're obviously here for a reason, and you've already spoiled my experiment, so you might as well spit it out. I've been sent by the Brotherhood of Steel to find you. You don't beat around the bush, I'll give you that. I knew it was just a matter of time before your people would track me down. I've been looking over my shoulder for almost a decade, waiting for them to send someone like you to kill me. I'm only here with good intentions. You have my word. You're giving me your word? Even though we just met? Fine. Hmm. Since Father trusts you, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. I might not agree with everything he says, but I know he'd never allow harm to come my way. Say what you came here to say, and then leave me alone. Are you happy here? You'd think being surrounded by cutting-edge laboratory equipment and some of the greatest minds the world's ever known would be enough. Only problem is the lack of transparency. I don't think we get the full story on everything that occurs down here. What does that have to do with why we're talking? The Brotherhood needs your help, Doctor. Needs my help? Why? They seem to have everything under control when I left. The Brotherhood valued your presence, and we'd like you to come back. Well, how sweet of them. Tell me something. Why would I possibly want to come crawling back to the Brotherhood? What reason would I have to throw away everything I've accomplished here? Father trusts me, and so should you. He trusts you because you're family. I'm not. I can't just take your word for it. I need more than that. The Brotherhood has always been straight with you. I am getting a bit tired of all the secrets around here. Sometimes I feel like Father isn't being straight with me. Like there are things I'm not supposed to know about. I don't like that. But still, how can I turn my back on all of this? Your work could be instrumental freeing the Commonwealth. <sighs> you really know how to push my buttons, don't you? You know, I never understood why the Institute was so damn selfish. All those innocent people up there... dying. And here I am, surrounded by technology that could make their lives better. Yet we hide down here and insulate ourselves from everything and everyone. It's not right. It's not right. I'll make my way back to the Brotherhood. But I'm going to have to do it on my own. I can't take any chances being seen with you. Tell whoever sent you that they've just regained the services of Dr. Madison Lee. Now, for the sake of keeping up appearances, let me see that pit boy of yours. I've been told to install a coarser chip in it for you. Father's orders. You're to be given full access, with the ability to relay in and out of the Institute at will. Thank you. I'm sure that'll come in handy. Given that the Relay is the only way to access the Institute, Handy is something of an understatement. In case the significance is lost on you, you'll be the only one here with that kind of access. If nothing else, it should demonstrate the amount of trust Father has placed in you. Speaking of, I trust our discussion will remain between the two of us. Now, I need to get back to work, and I'm sure you have other things to do. This is day eight of trial six. The last week has been very productive, but exhausting. I think we'll need a break after this. Benet has done some really marvelous work with the personality mesh. It's, well, it, it's almost too good. The responses map almost identically to expectations, Father some of the most I've seen. Of course, it's not really Sean. None of his memories are in there. That, even now, would be a step too far. It's starting to have an effect on the team, I think. I know I've been caught up in the moment once or twice. Just a second or two, forgetting that he's not a real boy. Still, I think we'll need to consider restoring only for the moment. I'm well aware that others are, are put off by his presence. If I were slightly more arrogant, I might consider that a sign of success. I used to work exclusively on the synth projects, but lately I prefer less animated huh? pursuits.
principal reaction. You know the protocol, sir. Authorized personnel only. Greetings, sir. I am seriously thinking of heading over to get glad you made. Now they're dragging their on the targeting package upgrades I asked for. Maybe I should take some courses with me. Never send a message. Mm. Please don't. Excuse me, Enough doctor. Enough friction as so, it is between us and pretty much all the other departments. Justin Ayo, acting director of the Synth Retention Bureau. I'll be upfront with you. We're going to be keeping a close eye on you for the near future. Despite your relation to father, you're a bit of an unknown quantity. I'm sure you understand. There won't be any issues, will there? Why? Don't you trust me? I'll be honest. You're an outsider. The first outsider to be allowed access to the Institute in quite a long time, in fact. There's little precedent for this situation, so it's only natural to take extra precautions, hmm? It's nothing personal, I assure you. Now, Father has asked that I provide you with a brief overview of the Synth Retention Bureau. Our primary responsibility is the recovery of escaped synths, that are hiding among the human population on the surface. Why would synths want to escape? Synths do not want. They might look like human beings, but they're machines. As to why they're escaping? That matter is currently under investigation. Our main instrument is the Courser, a third generation synth assigned to operate on the surface. Coursers hunt down and reclaim synths that have escaped the Institute. They are highly self-sufficient, trained in combat, infiltration, and tracking. In a word, our coursers are relentless. But I gather you know all this, since you've encountered one already. In fact, I'd very much like to know how you defeated it. I hate to break it to you, but your courser wasn't all that tough. Hmm. Then it's likely the unit was defective. It's rare, but faults can occur from time to time. I suppose I'll have to ask robotics to perform detailed diagnostics on the entire production run. As if we don't have enough problems. Now, unless you need something else, I'll get back to work. I'm good for now. Thanks. Very well. Be careful wearing that. You might be mistaken for a Brotherhood of Steel soldier. Bye. Carry on, sir. I know it'll be difficult. Remember that sins are peace. Scanning unknown identity. Clearance confirmed. All you can return to the duty and remember to record every symptom you experience in detail. I hope I'll prove a useful person. Father is more than just our leader. The Institute's a big place. It might take a while to learn where everything is. Doctor. They weren't kidding. You really are here. Well, all right. I'm Allie. Allie Fillmore. You can think of me as the Institute's chief engineer. They told us about you. I could hardly believe it. You've been through so much. I think most people would have just given up. If you don't mind my asking, what was it that kept you going all that time? I wanted to kill the son of a bitch who murdered my wife. Kellogg always was a cold bastard. If you ask me, we're better off without him. Now, the facilities division, and then I'll answer any questions you might have afterward. As you might guess, we keep the Institute's mechanical and electrical systems running smoothly. We maintain and upgrade all of the systems that make it possible to live and work in a place like this. There's a lot of machinery behind these walls that recycles the air and water and provides power to the laboratories and quarters. The work we do might not be as but it's at least as important. So, now that you're here and you've spoken to... I'm just looking around. I see. Well, Please. if there's anything else... I'm good for now. Thanks. Goodbye, then. Father has done remarkable things. I would not exist for it.
really need all these horses roaming the halls? Bet it's pretty boring down here, compared to up there. <laughs> 